Hey there guys, it's time for another shoddy run through of the Air Gaming Expo 2017. Got Martin here with me. Hello. And uh, we're going to take another walk through through the gaming hall. It's twice as big as last year, so it's going to be rubbish, but we're going to do it anyway. Yeah. It's a bit <laughs> of a maze as well, so I won't go. So we're going to start off going this way and then we'll talk a bit about what we can see and uh, you can just follow along with us. So we're going to change this around and we're going to get going. Uh, it makes loads of little squares. Right, so this is the entrance. As you can see, there's a ton of people. About 20 minutes, 25 minutes to opening, so yeah. we so might have to hurry. We're, we're at the hall, but we had to restock up because this is a Saturday and this is the busiest day. So as you can see, you come in, here's the entrance, a big little dice display. And then this is the main gaming hall. We can go to the left, we can go straight, or we can go right this time as well. So we're just going to go right? Yep. All right, so what we've got here on the left, Mayfair Games. As you can see up there, this is their display area. You want to try Baron Park, don't you? I wouldn't mind, yeah. It's a bit um, cottage garden, all that kind of stuff. Uh, then we've got the Wild West Exodus. I think this has been taken over by Wayland Games, is it? Because uh, this used to be run by an American guy. And uh, they've got a, a fantastic booth. It is quite cool looking. Yeah, this is their inside. The demo boards. That's an awesome display board, that is. All the stock. I don't know what's in there, we'll have a look on the other side. Going to this gloomy ass corner. Yep. Which is set up for some kind of stage, who knows. This is where they do the prize events and stuff on the Sunday evening, isn't it? I remember Tom Vassell did uh, the announcements last year oh, at the right, end. Yes. This is the LARPing area. Just behind there is the bring and buy at the back there. Uh, I don't know if you could see that, but that's the entrance for that. This whole section on the right here behind these stalls are all the bring and buy areas. This is the auction <laughs> bazaar. Yeah, the, this, basically this one, uh, the price goes down every 15 hour, minutes, I think it was. Uh, yeah, by but at amount. It's, what is it currently at? 32? 32 pounds. 26 it was when we closed yesterday. But my maths is awful, so I have to put it back up, so we've got enough tops. Tut, tut. <laughs> it goes down how regularly? Every 15 minutes. There you go. Something between 50p and 2 pounds. So you can't work out depending on how we're bringing the ground. Okay. Design. Fair enough. Sunday, wow. if you come here Sunday. Oregon. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there we go, that's there. Yeah. And yeah, we got some more independent stalls, the Dark Ops, Rubicon models. Sounds like Kaka Poo Poo. <laughs> right, that's, that's really healthy. Oh, oh wait, that's it. I thought you were taking the piss. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it says. That is what it says. <laughs> we got D and D dice. It's quite a lot of um inserts and boxes and like um, acrylic overlays and stuff which yeah. is really good to see because they've been a bastard to get in this country this was basically wooden by the looks of things i wonder what they sell i'm not sure but they do little specific ukge 17 stuff also inserts martin's belly uh or what? less less of a belly now yeah, yeah. <laughs> open combat um what was it some of the guys haven't arrived yet because we're trying to get it before the noise comes in. Mm. Who's this? I haven't. Absolutely no. Dragonborn, rise to supremacy. So, some sort of demo. There's, I don't know what I think because basically there's like there's retailers all over the place and there's demos all over the place rather than being kind of centralized. This, this is the retail area. This is the demo area. So it makes it really hard to kind of show people what's around. And we keep walking around and finding new things. Like, oh, I've seen this store before. We walked around it like 10 times. Here's Andy's DMB dungeon tiles. Hey Andy. Hey guys. It's funny. You start coming here regularly and recognize. So people, yeah. Lots of different I think, I, I think this is the best thing Andy's got on stove, stove at the moment. I don't like it, I think they look awful. <laughs> They're the worst thing I've ever had on my stand. Of course they're not, they're absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. No worries. Did you pay me any chance, Jason? I did. <laughs> they're going to look awesome once I've done the uh, sci-fi. The Luckily he's not modest. <laughs> <laughs> so Andy's going to have some sci-fi tiles coming up soon, and these guys are going on there. Yeah. Uh, doing a brand new display board, it's going to be 6x4. Have a cargo bay, barracks, all sorts of stuff. So we were showing once, some uh, pictures earlier. They look awesome. Pull your finger out, man. I'll <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we'll see you later, Eddie. Yeah, take it easy, guys. Good seeing you. This is on the right is the family one. Pretty big. 
Well, the area we're walking in right now used to be the family area last year. This yeah. was like all closed off last year. Yeah, yeah, it was behind a big wall basically where yeah. all the vans were, were driving in to load up. So yeah, they've extended it. This is Harbour, Gibsons. So basically all the child friendly, family friendly games that you can pick up here. And I'm pretty sure there's a library around here somewhere as well that you can play games in this area. Oh, there it is. Imagination game. This is the My Little Pony roleplay game. These are some of the games you can check out for your families. Here we go, we've got Burger Boss. A little coffee stand over the corner over there. This is My Little Pony roleplay. Yeah, you're right, thanks. <laughs> game on tabletop. This is TT Combat. Loads of cool scenery here. I mean, there's some great scenery bits inside this store. I don't know oh, if we can go the, in uh, there. Yes, we can. <laughs> this one, for real. I literally had a double take of this when I was walked past it yesterday because it was fairly impressive. Man, I would love a set of this at home. We've got an industrial work site here, which is pretty cool. I really like some of that. But this one, the harbour display, is awesome. That is very cool, isn't it? And at the show only, it's an event bundle, £100. You get everything you see here. So the boats, the forklift truck, Crates. I mean, basically, it's a 200 pound of scenery, a half price by the show. I mean, that I feel that that looks like 100 quid worth of stuff as well. I really do, and I'm not a modeler at all. It's more than 100 quid. It feels more like. Yeah, absolutely. But paying 100 quid for it, it seems like you're getting a decent deal. And this is some of the kind of Ollie stuff because they've taken that over as well. So a lot of games being taken over from some UK publishers, which is pretty cool. They also do Rumble Slam and lots of other buildings they sell loads of other stuff walking dead rune wars You're not very expensive, are you? no 20 bucks for starter box or 20 quid yes <laughs> uh more uh, i think milo wants this what's that this comes right in for a 10 i'm sure he said is it milo oh it was um david Batman. there's devil pig games with uh we played carnage did a video for that recently i've got the old mats they're actually quite cool the mats yeah I would have thought they maybe had like lines, grid, but yeah, they're good. That's the game we're talking about. We did a video for that recently. It's, it's ridiculous, but quite fun. This is the game they had on Kickstarter recently, Age of Towers. No, no, no. Oh. That's funded successfully and coming to retail soon. This looks quite fun as well. Also, a little bit of take, they do a lot of take that on their games, which is kind of their ethos, I think. We got army bags, foam for your bags, battle foam. This is the, what, what are they actually called? Is it Simon, Cool Mini or not? Come on. Raise your goblets, yes. I want to try this actually. Uh, this is their demo area. They don't really have a booth. It's more just, you can try out the games. You've got the Godfather game. Demoing it over here. Signed by Eric Lang. Wow. I think Martin wants to try this desperately. Yes, I want to dry hump it. So a quick look at the figures. This might just be prototypes, but nonetheless, I want to have a quick look. This game's coming to retail soon as well, isn't it? Very soon, yeah, in the next few weeks, I think. This is Warlord Games. They got the new Doctor Who game here as well. Shop show special, 35 bucks. AEG, demoing some of their stuff, King is Dead, Mystic Vale, Smash Up, the that's usual. The, that's the captain is dead by the way. What did I say? The king. <laughs> I mean, you, you, I'm sure he would find a promotion, <laughs> but that's not who he is. What is this? I guess it's as good as mine, right? Here we go. That's hello. <laughs> so this is the, we've walked right across the hall now. As you can see, there's the end exit coming in with people stocking up. And then we're going down the corridor here. Should we go left or carry on straight? Um, go down here. Yes. So this is Magic Madhouse. We have TMG. They sold out of the Yokohama Deluxe before the show even opened. <laughs> get to all the traders, clearly. <laughs> Deep Cut Studio. You get mass mat material here. Um, these are really nice as well. Uh, they can cut it to any size. I feel that that's like swish, man. Mm. We'll just take Modern's word. 
Both my hands are filled with camera and microphone. <laughs> That's true, yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Loads of different sh like patterns and stuff. Yeah, and they, as I said, you were talking to me yesterday, they've had it to any size as well. This is uh, Dice Sports Z War 1. They got, they're focusing on a couple of these new, what do you call these little display cases for. Um, table type things, yeah, table and they, they're quite cool. They got like little dials built in, map built in, and you can replace that out with some other stuff. They got a new version of Dice uh, Z War 1 that you can try out here at the show. And then they got Rumble Slam and Carnival figures over here on the left. This is where we were looking at the TT Combat stuff. So you can see we've just swallowed around the other side. SDVM Games. This is where you could try out some of this. Although most of the games they've got to try out here are actually fairly um, old, really. Yeah. Uh, this is the Portal Games. It's going to pull back the curtain. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, come on, guys. This is this. <laughs> this is the. Uh, Kind of um, first Martians Robinson Crusoe thing. Portal yesterday. games. Yep. Come on, come. So there Look you go. at that. First Martians. You. Thank oh. you very much. Like he wasn't about to do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I love the little cars and stuff. They are awesome. Yeah. Gotta love that. It's a bit like a frog, actually. <laughs> I like the translucent dice as well. Yeah, That's really well. cool. Hey Morning, mate. How you doing? And, and this is the demo that doesn't come out yeah. till August. Yeah, yeah. August. Yeah. So. You can pick up all other Portal game stuff, Cry Havoc, Imperial Settlers expansions. I might come pick up the Atlanteans. Is that for demo as well? Ooh, hey, oh. an actual one. Right. And this one is presumably after First Martians, eh? Yeah, it will be after First Martians, that's right, yeah. First Martians, uh, August. Yeah. I'm asking fine, that's all in there. Cool. And have you got the first expansion for 51st State yeah. right here? This is no. a show exclusive, not exclusive, but it's the first time... Exclusively, that's because it will appear in, in shops in two or three weeks, so... Uh, you have a great chance to buy it in something like that. Cool. £12 as well, good price. Yeah. Come down. Normal price will be uh, 14 eight, say. 49 Four, 7. 14, 14 euro for sure. Um, I'm not sure what would be the price with pounds, but. Fair enough. This, this sounds like your kind of game. Yeah, I've, I've had a look a at this already. Two, two drivers in one. They need to cooperate, but they can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's, let's move along and see what else has got going on. This is CGE. They're not here yet, but Paul sleeping late as usual. You try out any of the CGE games. I'm pretty sure they got the Adrenaline um, expansion here on demo as well. Code name's Duet. Duet. God damn it. I'm not yeah. seeing Paul Grover on weekends. So no, he's been loafing. Uh, Reboss games. You can try Cash and Guns, Seven Wonders Duel. Two really good games they are. Eclectic games. And Unlock is over there in the right. We've got Greater Than Games on the stand over here. So you can see lots and lots of choices, lots and lots of different retail stands. We haven't even got to the section yet where all the little Kickstarter bits are. I don't know, I think I've seen this one before. Just retail wise, it's right. bonkers. There's so many stands. But it was really busy yesterday as well, and so many things selling out. And We've got Battlefront over here on the right, which is also. Uh, a subsidiary of Gale Force 9 so you can get Spartacus Family Guy Stewart's Sexy Party Guy <laughs> that's a new one on me the, uh, I was talking to Matt earlier the Ascendancy expansions should be coming out in 6 weeks time so they're talking about Gen Con Gen Con in 6 weeks? apparently so Jesus and we got on the right here we got Osprey Games on my other channel I do some of their skirmish based games on Battle Nights but uh, we haven't done any of their um, board games yet, so we might have to get them on the channel. <laughs> <So> <laughs> One or two copies of Cold It. It's just a few. Oh. What we got here? Cabo. 
And that, so oh, back to, uh, just want to go to Alicad Games here quickly. Give Mike Nudd and Cesar a plug. Obviously, this is Alicad Games. They got Cauldron Master here, which is, I think, funded on Kickstarter recently. And Lab Wars. This is looking good as well. Yeah. Hospital. And this is the game you can try out here today, uh, which is Dice Hospital, which is co designed by Mike Nudd and Stan Kodonsky. Yeah, I've been looking forward to trying Dice Hospital. I like the look of it. So, and then we got Starfinder over here. So we're just going to double back for a second. It's, otherwise, we'll be looking at just more demo areas that we've gone, been past already. And go down here. So, this is... There's old faithful ship over there that yep. seems to come to everything. Hawk War Games, that is. Uh, I'm not sure who... The, oh, this is the Geeks Inn, isn't it? Geeks yep. Inn. Geeks Inn. Sexy tables. Interesting as well, there's more competition for gaming tables now too. Yeah, we'll have a look at another place soon. This is uh, Battlefield Hobbies. 65, down to 20. So, lots of options for retail, yeah? We've got Meeple's Corner just in front of us. There's Queen Games and stuff down there. Should we go right or left? Um, let's go yeah, right. Let's go this way. There's games all those right at the back there behind us. We've got their prime space just to the right the left of the entrance here. We might have a look at this down a little bit. Well, on the left of us here is Mage Company's um, Dungeon Land 12 Realms. This is on Kickstarter at the moment, and I might be doing some figures for them soon. It's a dungeon tile, dungeon bash game. It's set in the 12 Realms world. Yeah. This is pretty much the state of their booth, uh, like this, they don't have a, uh, with all the other products, they've just gone solely with this one for this year. And then who do we have here? Lightseeker Awakening. I don't even know half of these people. This is some kind of card game, isn't it? It comes with figures or something. It's a bit Hearthstone-y or something like that. Maybe like Skylanders. Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, look, they've got iPad stuff. Alright, where are we are going? We've got uh, Steamforge games over here on the right. They do Guild Ball, obviously, but also One the Dark Souls. <laughs> and on the left here is four Formal Ferret games. They did uh, newsletter, not new networks. That's it. Badges. Fantasy Flight Stand over here on the left. As you can see up there. That's some uh, fairly nice scenery. Yeah. Ruin Wars. I'm looking forward to getting into this. If you get a demo, yeah, you can get a promo card as well. D did one yesterday and gave me the promo card. Oh, that was nice. awesome. Yeah. I've got a couple of sets I need to paint up for this. On the right here is Rory's Story Cubes. A little campfire. That's cool. Uh, I'd like to try this as well, number nine. Yeah, I saw uh, Peter then played it yesterday and the series was pretty good. Yeah, it looks good. I don't know if it's here to buy though. But... My first Stone Age. Never seen it before. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> They're huge pieces, isn't it? Yeah, but it's my first one. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Five years and up. So they small fingers. Maybe we have to get it for our sons. We don't have a son to get with like a gay couple. <laughs> <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. Uh, <laughs> just so, just so for clarity. <laughs> uh, we've got Fable Realms, so this is foreground. Oh, yeah, this this whole table is really cool. I like this. I need to build up a table like this for Tony Walking Dead. Tony needs to do better with his, man. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this park. Uh, leaves and stuff in there. It's cool. I'll get around to it, man. I'll get around to it. That's nice. This is a Frostgrave table. What gave oh. away? <laughs> <laughs> it's really cool. They're demoing their new game, Fabled Realms, yeah? Which is this one right here. I think it's going to Kickstarter or has been on Kickstarter recently. I can't remember. Uh, yeah. Do you want just this? talking about Fabled Realms? Is oh, it yeah. on Kickstarter now? Or is it uh, Jan uh, June? Well, January the 30th. June the 30th. Okay, June so the 30th. Yeah. 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 Would you like what? a magnet? Yeah, why not? Don't play the camera and wipe the SD card. <laughs> <laughs> we can give it to you. I'll, I'll hold it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Fulgrain obviously specialises in um, buildings and scenery, but these are from the Carter. Oh, nice! I want that one. No, that one's cool too. I think you can take one each. Oh, cool. So, your name is? Uh, my name's Cad. Cad. Foreground. All right. And, so, uh, if you say June the 30th, right? Yeah, June the 30th. It's going to run for. Um, what scale is this? Because it seems slightly these, bigger these than 28. These ones are slightly big. Um, these ones are based off the 3D renders. So, that's the 3D render one. And that there is a, the actual scale. The actual scale that they'll be in. Oh, nice. Good. I'll right. keep an eye out for that, man. You've got a set for your fridge and you. We'll, we'll put it in the video. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot, bud. Thank you. Alright, we got diced on the side, yeah. Oh, yeah very cool. Yeah. I don't know what this is. It's a sound thing. Oh, I've right, yeah. I've been playing noise all day, but this, this intrigues me, the sound cave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to open. Yeah, we're going to pause here quickly. Right, we just had to stop there for a minute while the noisemaker finishes. Well, there's a security announcement of some description. So I'm going to give Tristan a quick plug here. He's got Gloom of Gilforth here on demo uh, and he's going to be sh talking about his new game which is right here next to Martin Tears to Many Mothers It's 1066 Subtitle Tears to Many Mothers The artwork on this is phenomenal as well Really nice I'm actually looking forward to trying this I might have to come bug Tristan later for a demo I uh, had a fairly lengthy chat with him yesterday I don't know what stall this is no, I can't work it out I've got a copy of two more Oh is that over a hundred quid? 105 pounds, both in cost and weight. Actually, they have several. I was just going to say, there's a whole row of them. And more. They have really hot. Battle Born Legacy. So, more retail stores. Um, over here, we've got a lot of the independent traders. So, we've got Package. Hey, Martin, here's Package. Oh, they're Games Quest. Oh, Package. Yeah. Hey, are you hey, Chris? Hey, how are you doing? How's it going, man? Good, yourself? Yeah. I'm Martin. I had package in front of my package. <laughs> oh, all too well. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> it was late, what can I say? <laughs> you can pick up package here at the show. Obviously, when you see this, the show will be finished. <laughs> but it's now in retail, isn't it, Chris? It is indeed, yeah. Um, and you're showing off Schism today. Yes. Is that right? Schism. Did I, did I Schism. Schism. <laughs> <laughs> The artwork on this is looking great as well. Yeah, I'm, uh, clearly you didn't do it then, Chris. I didn't. No, <laughs> my, my pencil sketches uh, didn't really do it justice. But the uh, the guy, the artist Jesus uh, Blones, he I gave him some ideas and concepts, and he absolutely Smashed blew it out of the park. Yeah, I mean, some when's this coming to Kickstarter? Character illustrations are really yeah, they're really good. Impressive. Yeah. When's this coming to Kickstarter? So, uh, at the moment we're looking very late August, early September, possibly September the 1st. I'm being quite loose at the moment, yeah, yeah. a few things, but cool. yeah, um, hopefully so offering games. End, of, uh, end of summer. It's good. Great stuff. Well, cool we're going to have a quick look around, we'll come talk to you later again. Great stuff. <sighs> I don't know who this is. He's like me, drawn oh, hexes. Let's have a look at that. What's yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is New Earth, is it? Yeah, it's New Earth. They were next to our stand last year. Yeah, they've got somewhat less space this time. <laughs> yeah, so it's the Ludorati Cafe, isn't it? Yeah. Um, that green stand over there is something. Magister Militum. Oh, they do little sm small scale miniatures. 10 mil, 15 mil, that sort of thing. Awesome, they'll run through for that. Didn't yeah, one free elephant. You That's can try. We try. should have snuck the prototype back on the table. They'd be like, where's this coming from? <laughs> So this is just funded on Kickstarter at the moment. That you can come try it. Already. I'm still not sure about the graphic and the tiles. So. And then this is the awesome that funded a couple of months ago. This has come to retail recently, as the name suggests. It's awesome. Might come bug them for a copy later. Reckon ruin. Remember seeing that. Reckon ruin. Yeah. yeah. Is Mick Mark? Mick Mark. That's an unusual name you've got in there. Like. <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> Speak to you later, <laughs> Still don't know what his name was. He's been here. It's Mark McKinnon. <laughs> <laughs> we had a late night last night, so uh, <laughs> playing Spyfall till one time in the morning. I don't actually. 
this is just free game area that we I, just walked past. I think past. it's actually a food area here. Yeah. Wow, the light's really bright, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what this is. Grimstone's role-playing game and stuff. Fruit bowls, apparently. Crap, is that a bowl? Is that washing up bowls? <laughs> <laughs> Fire storm cars over there, that's where they are, is it? Yep. So some people getting a few bargains from it, actually. Uh, I think King Domino is 12 pounds. What if they have any left? <laughs> this stand, yeah, we tried some terror the other night, that was pretty good. Uh, we'll have a look around at that in a second. I'm just having a look what this is. This is Deva something. Gretchen's. There's chaos cards on my right. And this is in the box games. Yes, they do. Inside the box just, games. Uh, we tried Subterra. Yep. Jesus, when, how long ago was that? It was like two, two days, days ago. ago. It was pretty good, like the cave, if yeah. you have played that. The cave with a bit of um, descent, uh, the, the descent. Yeah, the not the board game. Yeah. Hello, hey, guys. Yes. Yeah. Oh, no, that's, that's good. I would offer you a cake. I'm sure you're busy. Like. <laughs> <laughs> busy ish. You've got Statecraft over here as well. So yeah, there's another one there, isn't there? A new one. Yeah. The Wotan game bus again. Yeah. They got Camelot the Quest and they're prototyping their new game War of the Nine Realms. Martin, you went Cubicle 7? I don't I want cavalry man. Mm, Actually, Cav cavalry. I'm, I'm looking for the there, there with that one exactly. The this one. Deccan Infantry Command Pack. Might pick that up later. This, this looks so much better painted. If you come to stand J1, you can actually win a copy. Yeah, uh, <laughs> as already pointed out, Jason, they've watched the video. <laughs> you can go in the bus and actually play games inside there. The demoing the games that are in front of you inside there as well. The Warhammer role plays over here. More Chaos cards. We've got Follow. This is Handycon and Scrumpy, yeah, with Paul Harris's stand. Yeah, of course, yeah. Here, yeah. Place is opening and he's still lying in bed. Got some beer mats. Yeah, he gave me a couple yesterday as well. I said, if you have if you have to play some videos, you know, and you put your drinks on the scrumpy, it's fine. Look at this. It's yeah. gone all out to uh, prototype this. It's pretty good. I, I, I saw it at the press release thing. It's quite good. Um, I don't know what this is. Let's just keep going. Yeah. <laughs> Table. Actually, we want to try this as well, Fan Hunter. I think this looks quite good. It's a miniature board game. Done by a Spanish company. The urban Devier. comic game in the epic decadent and post fast punk universe of Fan Hunter. Apparently, some government has taken over and banned all <laughs> gig stuff. I love those minis. <laughs> and you're fighting back, but the only uh, resources you know <laughs> is based on what you've learned from computer games and stuff. Nice. So, nice. Yeah, pretty cool theme. We've got another stand of here, Golden Ratio Games. It's Collider Cards and Dave Witherall. Say hello Dave. Good morning, how are you? Yeah, not bad, how's it going? Very good, thank you very much. Let's have a look at your stand quickly. Yep. Oh, I'm not wearing my purple. <laughs> and for that we are ever grateful. <laughs> right. like to be distinct. All right. Dave's got Collider, Collider, Collider Cards, cards yeah. coming to Kickstarter soon. In October. Yeah. He's going to do another run through. We saw it on the live video. <laughs> <laughs> so, 100 cards, all unique, uh, loads of different games you can play with them. Great fun all, for all the family. Lots of games, the whole game system. Each one's really quick and fast to, to learn, quick to play. All take less than 10 minutes to play. Each game is very, very different, all based around colour. Uh, some of the deduction games, some of the speed based, some dexterity. Good fun, so look out for us on Kickstarter, www.kaleidocards.games. Thumbs up. Thank you. Good man, see Good you later. Good, got that pitch down well. <laughs> <laughs> right, I actually, we've been here for two days now, and I only found this aisle this morning. I had a coffee from there. Was it any good? Uh, it was, well, for a large, it was pretty damn small, and you know, it was pretty expensive. You know, Tim Brooker Assassins here, and... They funded on Kickstarter recently as well. We've got some on the stand. Yeah, we've got a couple on the stand that you can pick up. We've got Stuart Garside over here. 
He's not even ready yet. Come on, Stuart, when the place is opening soon. Hi, Stuart, I'm Marty. No, no, don't do that. to see you. Yeah. So how long, you, the question's gonna turn to you. How long have you been here? Oh, Could be God. a couple of days Ace. now. How, just, so I'm just gonna ask that question again. Welcome to my stall. <laughs> yeah. How long, Jason and Martin? How long have you been here in, uh, in Birmingham? <laughs> Shall we just say, we've been walking around and there's still places we haven't seen and, and this is one of them, so. Uh, you could come back when, with the jelly bean. We'll come back and do that. Stuart, no, Stuart, are you demoing cake off here? I am demoing cake off. I'll just show you some of the cards. Oh, no, no. Yeah, this is, this is, this is the best card. With, uh, frankly, Very gay. Frankly, amazing art on that card. You can see that's got amazing art. But, uh, you know, this is the placeholder. Kind of, placeholder. This, this is the kind of quality you're going to be getting in this game. Stuart, Hello. what sort of uh, colour is your stand? Well, <laughs> I went for a nice wood effect. I reckon he took his curtains down and brought oh, them with him. <laughs> <laughs> Off his four post bed. Please leave. <laughs> All right, where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> I hate you both. Love you. <laughs> All right. Corks, it's a cork over game. <laughs> we got a Faith RPG here. You can see we don't mind who we are still. <laughs> Long pack games. On the left here is Wordforge games. If you need uh, artwork, 3D sculpting and printing done, or resin casting, packaging, design, come speak to Mark. And we'll sort you out. And Jason will paint them. <laughs> yes. No, I did some painting of this stuff in there. And it's you a got Scooby van. He doesn't bring it with to these sort of shows. He Ooh. keeps it for his shop. Yeah, but I brought this today, or yesterday, or day before, whenever I arrived here. I can't remember. The Dominator. But he's also demoing a new game here today, which is called Overthrow. I know there was a banner here somewhere the other day. Oh, there it is. Throw down, not overthrow. Yeah, I'm tired. Leave me alone. <laughs> Like big potatoes game menagerie. I don't know what the stand does. Rainbow Rage. Oh, and the bucket of doom. I need to show Dave this. Dave, this is where you can get another bucket of doom. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> All the pieces just fell into place. <laughs> that one. <laughs> right, what have we got down here? Acrylic tokens. Lots of bits and pieces high seas pirates did it open i don't know it's like 10 past nine there's not many people here so maybe not maybe they all ran to the bring and buy like some like weird weird <laughs> <pictures>. <laughs> we've got modifius entertainment on the left here we've got all their various role play games and hey chris they won't show me any of the fallout stuff i'm really angry <laughs> oh. oh look at that yeah Got the banner over there. They got Dracarys here as well. They'll be selling that. Thunderbirds. Airfix battles. Cool game extras behind us. Yep. The, uh, the new B2050s uh, expansion. D just bought a copy of this, so we'll be getting this up on the YouTube channel soon. On the left here oh, is an Algorand dude. It's a dude from Mass Effect, you heathen. We got. Magic Geek here. But well, I want to go over to Grublin Games quickly. Oh, we missed Uncle Tony. I would just double back on it. Yeah. We've got Grublin Games over here in front of us. They're demoing Perfect Crime. Didn't you try this last year? Yeah. That was pretty good. Obviously, got Mike's Waggle Dance here. I think it is a prototype last year. There we go. Oh, I've actually got a box now as well. It's had a box for a while. <laughs> well, I played it a year ago, so I didn't have a box then. Well, I'm going to stop for a second. So, on the left here we have something, something fun. And Uncle Tony's walking past us here. <laughs> prolific designer of such classics as Scandaroo. He's not prolific, the word is pronounced horrific. Horrific. My, my bad. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> We were a and, dice and shop. Said earlier, we don't care. We're upset. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, he doesn't care either. Tritex Games. Actually, I haven't been down this aisle either. What's down here? North and South Games, and a couple more retail stores. The Tritex has got a lot of interesting stuff as well. If we Lots go, of individual miniatures, D and D miniatures. But down this side, they've got a lot of kind of like, um, like wooden. I don't know what these are from. Plastic fantasy miniatures. Oh, this is. Oh, yes. Um, 
Pompkiss and Arath? Yes, that's the one. That's exactly where they're from. And then lots of lots of wooden components, cubes. Orange meeples. I might buy a yellow cube to give to Ash to replace that one from... <laughs> <laughs> so let's try Dex Games. On the right here we have Queen Games. Martin, don't you want to try Armageddon? I do. <laughs> they got loads of demo space here. Very here we go. Glutes? Yes. I actually, I actually wouldn't mind trying high seas. Yeah, it's a German game, so yeah. Played, played a lot of this yesterday. Cool, I'm sure you have. Yeah. Yes. It's I wouldn't very, mind. Very, very, very good game. Very right. simple, deceptively deep. Okay, cool. Yeah. I wouldn't mind like trying that high tide. High tide is a good kids game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Got, if you've got some the kids, it's really good. We have. That's what they got on. Yeah, we'll come try that out. Paul Grogan finally woken up. Paul. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got GCT Studios over on the right here, trying out Pioneer's program. You can also get Rise of Kage. And obviously they do ma their main thing they do is Bushido. And we just had a nice big noise in the background. We've got the Ragnar brothers on the left here. I'm not sure what they're demoing here at the moment. They've got a new game, must be. Uh, I reckon I, I've got barking up the wrong tree at home. I haven't tried that yet. And we have to give Mark a plug for his aircon. So this is where you can come get some information on aircon and when the next one is. Of course, he's not yet. He's just wandering around. I'm taking a drumstick, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kicking your table over, Mark. <laughs> I like drumsticks. <laughs> well, where haven't we been? Where's the dice tower? Oh, that's, that's on the right here somewhere. somewhere. Yeah, I thought it was near. I think it's down here, isn't it? We've got the dwarves. Yeah, all these lazy bastards talking. <laughs> this is the dice, dice tower. Here, here they would be. Seven Tom will be here. Uh, no, Sam T will be here in a little bit. Eleven? No, no, before then. Oh, right. Uh, Tom will be later, yeah, because he's playing his Indiegogo game. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, and what you can do, I believe you can um, donate, donate some to money. the dice tower and take some promos, which... I'm not sure you could take them. Well, you're essentially buying. You are yeah. yeah, every five pounds gets you a free, free price. But there's some interesting uh, stuff here. It's I'm after the Tomrick figure. Not that, figure. you this, don't you? Yeah. yeah, I might get the Hilly for Blood Rage as well. Or I will kick you. <laughs> I'm sure they got more somewhere. Yeah. Some uh, Dead of Winter stuff there as well. Which I'm grab. Mage Wars, Pure Settlers, Kevin. Yeah. Uh, some of them I've got already though, so... Can you get the Ooh. table? Give that to Ash. Slow. Yeah, the Ash! Oh, no, this, yeah. this one, slow, <laughs> slow play. Obviously they've got dice tags. Yes. <laughs> so anyway, that's where they are, but obviously... What we got? Just drop. And then on the left here is... Great Western Trail, Pegasus Peel. This is the... Some of the heavier games. Yeah. Aha! So, I recognise that puzzled look because we've been through the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Oracle Delphi. Trying to, trying to put the Oracle Delphi board together. <laughs> well, basically, you can put it together any way you like. Absolutely, like, but the, there's a recommended... Thing, I think this is a good idea. Yeah. So I was like, and then we sat there so going... So yeah, this, this way and this that way. <laughs> yes. you, know, you know where we haven't been yet? No. Our stand. No, we were near it. <laughs> let's go back there. But well, this game's all over there. Oh yeah. According to Paul Grogan, the biggest uh, independent st traded stockist in the UK. Well, that, that be like, I think. <laughs> All right, let's go down here. We're very close to the entrance this again. Is now the bottom of where Tritex is. Yeah, we're walking past uh, Modiphius and Ledger Games and North and South Games. So we've done a bit of a loop here. Yeah, you've got a big Konami stand in front of us here. And then behind them is the drop and shop. Board game extras. Yep, this is where we were earlier. And then, what is probably the best stand in the expo, Mr. Barney Baker. And look, look where Mark is. Not at his stand. <laughs> I've taken a drumstick from his <laughs> I did. I did announce it on the video, but obviously you can't watch that yet. <laughs> and this is where we had the scythe raffle. Mark yeah. thinks Anacrimi is good. I'll, I'll hey Warren! Ah. Alright, we stopped for the noisemaker again. Sorry Warren! Hello. You enjoying the expo? No. It's <laughs> so we can have a look. We had a little bit of a restock this morning because even yesterday on the Friday it was crazy busy. 
lots of Imperial Assault, lots of everything else. CCG and board game social. Holy shit! I was reading it off your shirt. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> first time I've ever got it right. <laughs> Right, let's go have a little walk down here. Yeah. Oh, These guys are helping out Carters and Creations. This is where you oh, get some stuff made. Nice little, uh... This is Titan Forge, where you can get Lobotomy. Limited edition, apparently. The Kickstarter, this... probably. Yeah. I absolutely love the theme of this game. I don't know why, it's just oh, it's really, fun. really cool. Hey, guys. Like a second home to you, probably. That's yeah. Fun. And we got army mills here. This looks really cool for a kids game as well. And then they got a new game coming out called Dice Club. You don't talk about it. <laughs> yeah, the first rule of Dice Club: don't talk about Dice Club. Otherworld Press. Oh, these are quite cool. Got some terrain pieces. Hayland. Oh, they, I need to put some of those. Which? The plinths. These ones. Yeah, the little Roman things. No guys. Yeah. Yeah. They are right. laying down ones rather than standing up ones. Yeah, I want them for scenery, like ruined scattered scenery and stuff like that. So, so, we've got a license for open lot for 3D printable files. Uh -huh. So, apparently, kit starts soon to do fully modular modern buildings. Can you speak a little louder, bud? <laughs> Sorry, man. It makes it we're doing a um, modular open lot buildings. We've got a license in them at the moment, and also we're making it all modern. Okay. So, it's like modern 28 mil wargaming. So, let's say if you want these two. You can just slot them together when it works properly. Like that. Very nice, I That's like cool, it. Yeah. yeah. So let's say you want a broken down roof, you can put that on there, you got a broken into roof. I like That's it very cool. much. I'm definitely gonna come over and chat with you a little bit later. You also have up there. Any eight of these or five of them? Any eight for Except a five? They're four quid as a vent exclusive. Meet all the red and ones but four quid, they're paint your own. Okay. Any eight hand foot, yeah. So yeah any eight, eight, eight pillars there if you need to. Yeah. I can well, speak that's to, all the pillars we got. I can speak to you later because we're yeah. only just over yeah. there. I wouldn't, right. I wouldn't <laughs> drag your heels either. <laughs> right. We've got Not Alone. He's got a copy of this. I've played it. It's pretty good. Uh, we've got Oath Sworn miniatures over here. Uh, See, got, actually, I think it's, it feels like there's quite a lot of miniature games around now I, as well. I'm actually I mean, from, obviously, it's not, it's not Salute, but... No. But if, from my perspective, I'm liking that, but the fact that... And also because there's such a divide now as well. Not divide, uh, like a... The increase in board games with miniatures. We've got shirts over here. Blurring, maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's Grimlord Games, Village Attacks. They just funded on Kickstarter recently. I back this, I'll be doing this soon. Why, what does it say? Radio Ray Desolation, bringing the sounds of the wasteland. Nice, I like that. I might come out and have a look at that. <laughs> uh, endure the Stars. Let's have a quick look at some of their miniatures. Oh, what the glare from that is terrible. Sorry about that. No, but it's very. It's very yeah, my husband may have been playing quite a lot of Fallout. Coffee is evil. Tasty, tasty. Evil. Zombie babies. <laughs> <laughs> laser Squad Assassins. It's actually a Laser Squad game. You can literally walk around playing demos and just eating sweets all day. Oh, man. There's so many places. It's just like, yeah, eat some sweets. SLA Industries. They were next to us at uh, Dragon Meat. And we got Stellar Transporter. We got Elements over here. We did a Kickstarter preview video for them. They're busy demoing their new game, Gladiatories Blood for Roses. Come on, Justin, where are you, man? The shop, the place is about to open and you're not here. Hey, what's happening? So Justin's sleeping late as well. Just lazy. Flip the script. <laughs> Come over, check. Yeah, you can play it. We've got a huge Protoss stand. This guy's eating his food over here. <laughs> oh man, that's nice. It's not... Yours are better. You reckon? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for saying that anyway. <laughs> Loads of Protoss miniatures. We've got Esterin. One thing we've actually missed out, but uh, I think it's quite a big thing, and we'll see it in a second, but from a distance. We've got Hopwood Games here. Oh, hang on, he's got another hit. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> Everyone's got a gimmick. Yay! Hey! He's a little bit more stupid, really, 
It's idea. true. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> what did you demo here? Yeah, was it Daring, Daring Dust Bunnies? Dust bunnies. Yeah. All right, well, you can come try that out. Yeah. Right, so this is the playtest zone where people are playtesting the new games. This is a free gaming zone where you can just come sit down and play some games. There's a games library over here with thirsty meeples. But the thing that I was talking about is that Games Workshop is here and, and in not, force as well. Yeah, it's not a small stand. I mean, they, obviously, they're demoing. Well, the new 40K, they were to had a seminar here. This is not small. <laughs> They've got stole those tables from uh, the World War Z guys. And well, uh, Mantic Games apparently are interested in getting some tables from Z War Games. <laughs> so, this is the new starter set for 40k. Hi guys, how are you doing? Hi. Hey mate, just having a quick look. Sure. Nice. Just talking about the new 40k. They had a seminar recently, just talking about the new rules coming out. Enjoy it. Yeah, very good. Cool. Just going to swing around quickly. You should go behind as well and show what they've got. Um... Yeah, because I think Forge World is on the other side. That is correct. Here's Fan Hunter. Again, on Fan Hunter. This side, yeah. This is Forge World on the side, yeah. There's Pezapu. That's more for my Battle Knight fans. <laughs> no, I, I didn't understand that reference at all. <laughs> and what is this? Lander. Hey mate. Oh, we've got some bits and pieces here. This is clocks. clocks. <laughs> Euro clocks, that's pretty cool. Harlequin. Harlequin, yeah. I like it. Key stands. rings. Maybe you should get Carla one of these. Oh, Thanks, look what we've got. Thanks, man. Maybe you should get Carla a phone stand so she can lose her phone. <laughs> like, She'll lose the phone stand then. Like Batman one, maybe? <laughs> war bases. Oh, this is war bases. They do speciality bases and things for armies and do various things. I'm actually going to get some stuff from them to do my Kings of War stuff. You could demo Fan Hunter, yeah. Ooh, I might have to come try that. And the Holmes, Sherlock Holmes game. I want to see some. Yeah, actually, that's a good point. Let's have a quick look. Oh man, I really like them. Is this a, I wonder if this is a prototype or actual cast? Nah, this is an actual copy. They look actually really cool. They're awesome. They might be a little tough to paint actually because they're, they're a lot of flat surfaces. Yeah. But I'll have to try. Hello, mate. Hey, how's it going? Not bad, not bad. <laughs> really cool. Yeah, I like them. Love the pictures. Yeah. We'll come back for a demo later. Oh, there's one painting ones. Let's have well, a look. Let's see what they've done. <laughs> I'm smashing up this stand. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I love those pictures, man. They're awesome. The chainsaw on the guy with the shield. I like the guy with the Punisher shirt. Yeah, they're really cool. <laughs> Brilliant. It's really cool. I actually, I was watching a video of theirs the other day where they were talking about they're looking for some people to do some um, f like fan fiction work, but for each country. So someone who does it in the UK will do the the, the sort of story for the UK. And someone in America will do the story for America and so Shame on. Shame we're creatively inept. Yes. Let's go this way. Oh no, we come from. Oh god, I've lost already. Well, <laughs> we've pretty much seen most of it, but I'm going to do a couple more shout outs here. I'm pretty sure. Is this Yay Games? No, it's not. Yay Games is down on the other side. It's a fresh. They're really spoiling us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Mark. I was at your stand earlier. Where were you? Uh, I was in one of the other ones. I'm still wandering around. There he is. Yeah, look, it finally got up. Uh, we've been to your stand. It's just, just arriving now. What the hell's happened to my rollback? Look, someone vandalized it. It wasn't us, man. When we came past it, <laughs> it was fine. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll leave him to sort that out. We <laughs> look <laughs> Some artwork, lots of artwork. There's artwork across our shop as well. Like you can get Gloomhaven stickers here yeah? and Great Scott. Uh, over here is where they got like a like a mishmash of Indian traveling Oh uh, yeah, this is about as far south as they go. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so you got a little mixture of uh, independent stores here, yeah, like uh, Grog oh, Island. Good. 
Creature College from Happy Otter Games. Hey girls. These are probably the stuff they have going on, yeah? Wingo games, lots of independent traders. The triad games, there's Creature College going on, yeah? This is more the Fantasy Flight booth. The other side. Oh, have we missed anything out now? Uh, we probably have. Stuff over there, some stalls and whatnot. But, but for the most part, you've pretty much seen everything now. I mean, in a very haphazard way because that's how it feels like when you're walking around you. Yeah. It, it really is, yeah. It's but, not like a grid system at all, it's weaving in and out of things. But I mean, you can see there's plenty of space to walk. And yeah. The, the sort of corridor. Oh, Vassal Street. <laughs> He's not joking either, look. No, but I wonder if it's. Because um, wasn't it in. What's that co op police game? Like police precinct. Oh, it's yes. Vassal Street now. I wonder cool. if they've named it after that. The Siege over here. We've got Mantic Games on the right. They've got a show exclusive miniature. Hey, guys. <laughs> um, we got Brain Crack Games here. Yeah? Mike's got another game in here called Lava Run. Hey guys, how's it going? You ready for the day? <laughs> oh, no Alright, the noise maker came back again. You can pick up. And it's now open as well. Yeah, so, so we're going to call it's it. Probably, it's probably going to get fairly loud quite quickly. We'll just have a quick gander around. Mark's finally going back to his chair. Oh, this far side, yeah. yeah, I had a look at it earlier. And Lava Run is the game that Mike's doing. And uh, that downsize over there, I think you'll like that as well. We've got Luchador over here. And then down here we got Hive, the two, that sort of thing. We've got more stores down there, we've got Battle Systems. Hey, what, where was that? Um, I think it's down there somewhere. Was the the guys that did the Geek Mod. yeah Geek Mod? Let's go over there quickly and then we'll tables, call it. Like the table's like a thousand plus cheaper than uh, Geek and Sun. And there was those acrylic overlay guys around yeah, somewhere. Next to it. Yeah. I think they're all one thing. So hello guys. So another place where you can get tables, <laughs> but they also do fantastic inserts and overlays for all the popular games. Pop. And an eclipse one. But what did it for me? Um, I don't know what that is for, actually. Is that the Great Western Trail one? No. no. Um, God, come on, game knowledge. No, I've got no idea. But, yeah, like, got eclipse. eclipse one's £2.50. The Great Western Trail one for £3.50. Oh, they and had uh, Terraforming, Terraforming Mars. Mars for £3.50 as well, yeah. That this box feeds the Conquest. I'm going to go. Civilization. <laughs> <laughs> While they're just talking, I'm just going to have a quick scan around. So, I took here games trying out their new game, Master Trials. And that game's through the ages, by the way. Through the ages. Yeah. I think he was saying TTA. <laughs> he's, he's lost his voice because of the air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I lost a couple of stalls quickly before we have to start off because it's going to get busy. Battle systems. Cool. Two plastic card terrain. Brilliant for zombie side, things like that. Dead zone. Hey guys. Catastrophe. We'll come back in a bit. Spy die. Spy die trying, that was. <laughs> Four elements of here. It's sunny here. Yeah, very bright over here. Oh, I love love this pun. Motley Sprue. Scrooge board game over here. The oh, shop was love. named Motley Sprue. They got a Minotaur, so that's all that counts. I wonder if you can have that banner when you're finished. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys. Just have it in the video. Yeah. Uh, some roleplay games and Konami. All right. So we have circled round back again. We're going to switch off. We'll do some interviews later and we're, or tomorrow when everyone's tired and miserable. We'll do the interviews then. We're tired and miserable now. It's <laughs> Look at Bond. He's about to have a brain hemorrhage. <laughs> he's, he's bringing sexy back. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be back later.